But Christian Prince, maybe um, uh, if you can uh, explain to the people in the in the chat about uh, the poetry of uh, Amrul Qais. It's yeah. really interesting, uh, that topic. Maybe you can show them also, if you Google it, you can find a picture yeah. exactly uh, from uh, the text of Amrul Qais, right. which, which, uh, who was a uh, couple uh, hundred years before Islam and before Muhammad. And, you, and Muhammad took it copy-paste, exactly the same poetry, of Amrul Qais, and he put it in the Quran about Qam uh, al-Sa'a wa Shaq al-Qamar, you know, you know all these uh, ayahs, right? And go. I believe there are four ayahs or something. Many. But, uh, that Muhammad, yeah, many, but at least four, and he copy-pasted it. And, uh, my friend, it's in, my, a copy -paste in, my book, religion. in my book, Quran and Science, I have tons of those things, not only from Amrul Qais, from many books, because Muhammad was copying from many. Yeah, yeah. from the but Sanhedrin, Mishnah, but, but this, is the, this is the poetry, this is the poetry. <clears throat> and you know the poetry is very beautiful actually. <clears throat> yeah. Muhammad he copied from it. This is why he, he took it. This is about yeah, the same yeah. about the moon. That's state. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh when when uh, Amr Qais he is talking about uh, the splitting of the moon, he is talking about uh, uh love love between him and, and a woman. Yeah. How the suddenly <laughs> uh, a poetry about the love of a woman bet between a, a husband and his wife became a splitting the moon actually splitting the moon yeah you know you see, you see guys don't know that. <clears throat> yeah you see guys i'm losing my voice you see the poetry this is the poetry in front of me muhammad he copied let me show you the part he copied that is here yes that one let me highlight um okay so he copied this part from the poetry and then now he copied that part he copied that part. Fatarakni ka Hashim and Mahtadar. Copy this part. Then, Adatul Akmar Yisra fi Duja here into this part. And and Nurukum Shay on Zahar. Zahar. This part. And then yeah. he continued. I mean, he is copying is exactly word by word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, is, this is a love story. <laughs> yeah. It's a love story between a man and, and his wife and we know we know about the history of Amrul Qais uh, Christian Prince he was like uh, the Romeo basically the Casanova of his time he yeah. was writing poetry and he was loved by many women in in his lifetime you know he was, he was like uh, he was like Hugh Hefner right he, anyway he, but <laughs> you know at that time you know uh, uh, and by the way he was supposedly Christian too yeah. yeah, so he's a well-known guy, right? <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but that at that time, you know, uh, poetry for women it was very. I mean, th th those are desert people. They have nothing to do except poetry. They speak poetry. Yes. They don't yeah. even talk language. They, you know, they speak to each other at poetry. You know. Yeah. So when yeah, and, and yeah, and, and that's why that's why the people who knew about this poetry that Muhammad stole. This is why they are everyone in the Quran. They are telling to Muhammad, "You're nothing but a scam. You are stealing uh, uh, from, from things that were that are already known." Yeah. So people who knew who could write and read, they knew about this poetry. But you know, a lot of people illiterate, actually illiterate in the desert, they cannot. Uh, write and read so they believe Muhammad yeah well we are here to expose it what we can do yeah it's a, you know Islam is uh, made by illiterate so-called illiterate but we know he could write and read very well but it's made for illiterate people who follow a blind blind religion blind political ideology basically uh, it's, it's not easy to say to yourself I was a fool all my life following a following a liar <laughs> 